Understanding Your Lease Tenant Education Series, brought to you by Councilmember Letitia Plummer, at Large 4. The contents of this video are for educational purposes only and should not be taken as legal advice. Whenever in doubt, always consult a lawyer. Legal resources will be shared at the end of this video. Welcome to the Tenants Education Series, a series of videos designed to help tenants like you understand your rights when renting an apartment. In this video, we will review how to read and understand your lease. Moving into a new home can be exciting and daunting at the same time as it involves many steps. One of the many tasks you will take as a tenant will include signing a lease. This can be a particularly daunting process as the lease can be a rather long document, full of legal language that can be confusing to understand. A lease is a contract between you, the tenant, and the property owner, the landlord. It covers conditions on how you, as a tenant, will occupy and utilize the apartment. It is important to read and understand the lease before you sign it, as the lease document is a legally enforceable document once signed. A lease agreement will usually cover and define property details, utility policy, pet policy, deposit, rent, fees, repairs and maintenance, house rules. Let's look at each one in more detail. The lease should include the physical address of the apartment and your specific unit number, date the lease was signed. Beginning and end of the rental period. Options for renewal. Policies for rent increases. Pay special attention to this. Complete list of appliances in the unit. Complete list of any furniture in the unit and the landlord's name and contact number to send them any notices. Some landlords may charge a security deposit. If they do, the amount should be defined in the lease. We will cover security deposits in another video. The rent amount for each month should be clearly defined, along with the due date, methods of payment, and any allowable grace period for late payment, amount of any late fees, or any fees for parking or pets. The lease should clearly indicate any utilities that are included in your monthly rent, if any. Pay special attention to this section. Under Texas law, the landlord is responsible for repairing most conditions in your unit that affect your health and safety as long as you follow the proper procedure to request the repairs. Texas law does not require landlords to repair or maintain conditions that do not adversely affect your health and safety, such as fixing a broken garbage disposal. We will cover this in more detail in another video. If the apartment allows pets, the lease should clearly define what type of pets and sizes are allowed as well as the consequences of any violations. House rules define how the property can be used by you and should explain maximum occupancy, quiet hours, overnight guests, parking and storage, smoking, landlord right of entry. We will cover this in another video. Granting access to maintenance workers, property alterations, long absences on your part renters insurance requirements eviction before signing the lease you can request to make changes as long as both you and the landlord agree the changes can be made make sure all changes are made in writing and that you have an updated copy of the lease before you sign it lease is a very important document with very vital terms conditions of your agreement with the landlord Never agree to a verbal agreement. Always ask for everything in writing. The lease is a legally binding document. If it's included, and not against the law, and you sign the document, your landlord can hold you accountable to it. If you have made changes to the lease and your landlord has agreed, make sure all those items are stated clearly and both of you have signed the document. Always read the lease thoroughly before signing, so that you do not find any unpleasant surprises later on. If you need additional help, or you have some legal questions regarding your lease, here are some resources. We hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching.